Welcome to the development video of the BFS algorithm. You asked uh, for this video, so I did it. So BFS is uh, breadth first search. If you don't know how BFS works, I strictly recommend you go and watch my demonstration video. You're gonna find the link in the description to just fully understand how the algorithm works. So let's go ahead and explain the development here. So we're going to use fstream, we're going to read from a file, we're going to use q because we use this in BFS, and vector for the attachment C list using ubspcd. This is the declaration of my input and output file. Then I'm going to use integer n and m to read the number of uh, nodes and the number of arcs. So let me explain a little bit how the input works. So you have number of nodes, number of arcs, and then you have the connections explained right here. So one is connected to two, one is connected to three, nine is connected to eight. Right, so it's a bidirectional graph just for you to know. Okay, so we're gonna declare A and B, which are gonna help us uh, load the adjacency matrix. We're gonna read N and them vector of integer sapo we're gonna use this to construct the con which is the connections the adjacency matrix actually and plus one because we are gonna use exact index we're starting from one and not from zero uh, sub which is the vector you have seen here we're using it to construct the adjacency matrix so we're gonna load the adjacency matrix from the input you're gonna read A and B and you're gonna go in the connections of A and push B and in the connections of B and push back A. So that's pretty simple, that's how you load uh, uh, the adjacency matrix, right, of any graph, right. Okay, uh, so I don't use weights because BFS doesn't care about weights, right, it only goes level by level, okay goes through the graph. We're gonna use a visited boolean array and plus one again we're using exact index and we're gonna use this to to check if a uh, node is visited so if it is visited we are not gonna visit it again. Okay then you're going inside this uh, for loop highlight right here to initialize the array the boolean array this is our queue, which we're gonna use in the BFS. I named it the level because it contains the each time it contains the what the level contains the nodes of uh, the current level actually. So in the beginning we're gonna push one, okay? Since it's our root node, we're gonna then uh, try to change the root just for experiment purposes. Okay, so. Then we're gonna go ahead and go visited of one is true since it's our root. Okay, this uh, variable here I'm using it for counting the size of my queue in the current uh, level, and this is used to count in which level I'm actually in right now. So while we have nodes inside our queue, which means we have nodes to discover yet. I'm uh, printing the level just for you to understand in the e in the output how it goes through the levels. I get the size of my queue, okay? And so until all those nodes that were here in the first place, I'm gonna get the front of my queue, the front element. I'm gonna then pop it. I have this inside X, of course. I'm gonna pre-index for you to see that it was inside the current level. And I'm gonna go through this for loop, which is very simple. You you go through all the nodes that are connected to X. If they are not visited, if the node that is connected to X is not visited, we set it to be visited and we push it inside our uh, our queue, which contains the next levels uh, Notes. Since when this becomes zero, we're not gonna go ahead and process it. We're gonna process it 
in the next while here. So in the next level. Okay. So that's pretty much the for loop right here. Which is the end of uh, the outside loop, which goes through all the nodes that we are initially inside our queue. So this is actually what this does, it's uh, decreasing SI, and when it, be it becomes zero, it's gonna go out. And we of course increase the level we are currently in. So that's pretty much uh, the BFS algorithm, very simple. So let's go ahead and run. Okay, so we're gonna have, uh, that's what you're gonna get, okay, for output. So let's go ahead and explain if that uh, is okay. So let's, uh, this is the output we got. So let's go ahead and design the, the we have uh, the graph right here. We have nine nodes. Let me just make this smaller. Three nodes, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so let's give them names. One, two, oh, sorry, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And nine here. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, design the connections. So one goes to two, one goes to three, uh, three goes to four, three goes to five, one goes to six, four goes to six, two, there you go, four goes to nine here, nine goes to eight. One goes to seven. Let me just make these right here. And seven goes to three. Okay. So we'll go ahead and say so level zero, it's one, of course. That's right. Okay. Let's go then to level one. So the ones that are connected to the first node are two, three, seven, six. So two. Three, six, seven. Nice. Now let's go to level two. It's gonna be four, five. Nice. Four and five. Correct. Now we're gonna go to level nine. Sorry, level three. It's gonna be nine. And level four is pretty much cut off. Let's just uh, check it right here. Yes, it's eight. And this is level four. Eight. So the algorithm is running smoothly. Uh, let's just uh, switch uh, switch the parent node to be eight, just for you to see that this works. So the result we're gonna have it's just gonna be the other way around. So let's go ahead and sorry, open uh, uh, it out right here. Eight nine four eight. Three six. Sorry, let me just uh, clarify something. Sorry, I had to put this to be visited eight. Nice. All right. So this is gonna work now. Let's just uh, run this. Okay. So there you go. It's the other way around. Let's check this out. It's gonna be just uh, get the results here. It's just uh, delete this here. Okay, let's make this uh, black. Nice. Okay, so we give, we begin with eight. Correct. Let's just color this to be white, just for you to understand. White, white, white. Nice. So let's go ahead and explain this again. So eight is level zero. Since it's a root node, then we're gonna go nine, correct? Then we're gonna go four and only four, nice. Then we're gonna go three, six, nice. Three and six, three and six, correct? Then we're gonna go level four, which is gonna be five. 
So let's do this again. It goes. Uh, it's the fourth level, fourth level, five, one, and seven, correct. And next one is gonna be two. There you go. With two last level, five level, fifth level. So that's pretty much uh, the algorithm, guys. It works as you can see here from the testing we did. Uh, I'm gonna leave a link in the description for the demonstration video and for the source code. Uh, there's gonna be a link too. Okay, so please like the video, guys. Subscribe and more videos coming. Okay, so that's BFS and have a good day or night, whatever. Goodbye.